Hey there, YouTube. It's Math Bowler. Welcome to my winter Facebook purchases video. So this is pretty much February and March, mostly March. I did not buy things in January. I tried to behave very well, and I'm going to try to do the same thing in April. This is the beginning of April when I'm making this video. Who knows when this will be shown, but yeah, these are all the items I bought off of Facebook here. So I'm just going to show you in the order with which I received them here. I mean, I got a nice little mixture here, mostly cards, mostly, but I got two nicer items as well. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you this first thing I bought. I paid $6 for it. In-person auto, Cole Tucker jersey, in-person auto. I have this card already, and I also have another one of these cards with like a real prime swatch on here. So my thought was to try to get them signed, especially the prime one. But if not, hey, this worked out, and for $6 shipped? Can't beat that. Seriously. It'd be t best deal you could get around here would be five bucks on that card alone. Best deal. That's a pre-rookie card. Okay, so let's see. Uh, next up, I bought three in-person autograph trading cards for a total of seven dollars. We have Bowman Chrome rookie of Daniel McCutcheon, whom I really enjoyed his time with the Pirates. He was a pitcher who took pride in his at bats. A real good memory from a specific game with him. So that's nice to add to the collection. Ross Ollendorf really had a moment there with the Pirates. Here's his first Bowman Chrome rookie card. Sweet. His autograph looks a lot like the facsimile one below it. And this one's a 1980 at top Scott Bankhead. I know a super cool person who's going to get this as he's working on the 1988 sign set. So that's seven bucks. And that's including shipping. No tax. All right, and then I bought this one here, um, two bucks. He had just passed away, and ironically, there was some photos with like nine cards in each photo, and their seller was asking two dollars shipped, and I thought, well, I already have one of these. I think I have one, so I went and bought it for two dollars shipped. I greatly appreciate this card, so great deal, two dollars. <laughs> shipped for the 1979 World Series Game 7 winner for the Pirates. Just as he had, after he had passed. I mean, wow. Okay. So this next one here, two cards, both in-person autograph cards. I paid four fifty shipping. I couldn't remember which one it was, so then I re-looked up and it was four fifty. so two bucks a card, 50 cents shipping. The seller shipped them both in top loaders in a plain white envelope. <laughs> I mean, dang, dude. Well, in any case, you can see who they are. Neil Walker and Jeff Locke autograph cards. We got Neil Walker on a on a Gint, Allen and Ginter rookie. Looks really nice. And then we got Jeff Locke on a TriStar card. Jeffrey Locke. <laughs> Same crappy autograph, but I liked Jeff Locke. So very good. Hey, we're halfway through. Well, we were seven purchases. I've shown you four, but... This next one's pretty nice here. And let's give him a shout out as he's been very good to me and I know he will appreciate watching this video. So thank you again Matt Liban for the uh, for the business here. Took really really good care of me with a Charlie Morton private signing. And he was having a really good sale. He was looking to clear it. $10 a photo, and I bought two of them. And honestly, I don't think I have a Gaylord Perry autographed anything in my collection, which you would think I'd have a baseball, a signed baseball, because I have over 500 baseballs, but uh, nope. I'm pretty sure I don't have a Gaylord Perry autographed baseball. Unless if I got him TTM, I take that back. As I'm thinking this, you know what? I'm pretty sure I do have one of him now. Um, because I had his the, the two Cy Young inscriptions. I mean, he has a two-time Cy Young winner. He's a Hall of Famer, and according to Wikipedia, he led the three-time wins leader. So, $10. And this next photo is $10. Shipped. I mean, I know I should like the Gaylord Perry, but I like this one even more. Joe Musgrove was so nice when he was with the Pirates. He was so nice. 
a uh, couple nice interactions with him. He remembered me from a previous signing, asked me a question about my profession, which I was so happy to hear that. Um, and he asked me, he just randomly brought it up, so that was really cool. Um, <coughs> Joe Musgrove, he's no longer with the Pirates. With the 2017 World Series champs, Game 5 winning pitcher. So we got a little theme of World Series winning pitchers here. So thank you, Matt, for the wonderful deal for these two items, man. So... If you're on Facebook, private signings, that's where these next three came from. Well, at least that one and this one. At least that one and this one. This one was purchased from Guy Puglia, who these cards were $10 each or three for, t three for 20. Wait, three for 24. So I originally picked out three and then realized... It's only money, and I got a stimulus. <laughs> uh, so I thought, you know what? Let's go ahead and buy three more. We have two Omar Morenos, a 1979 Pirates World Series champ. He also led the league in, National League in stolen bases a couple times. At least I think he did. I don't entirely trust <laughs> Wikipedia. <laughs> and then uh, we got two Manny Sanguians. In an A's uniform, which I don't think I have them. And I thought, I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to ever get Manny Sanguin in person. He doesn't TTM. Let me just go ahead and buy a couple. So I did. This individual, Guy Puglia, um, has run some private signings as well, just like Matt Leibin. So these were the two that really sold it for me. The Cecil Fielder, 87 Fleer, or 86 Fleer, Corey Snyder TTMs, but I want to be very careful before I send that out, if I send it out. And also, the 86 Tops, I think he had the 86 Tops of Peachy as well, but when I was a kid, I remember this card being like a card I really wanted, and well, now I just bought one and it's signed. I mean, they're not authenticated or anything, they're from his signings, but there's there's no concerns here. They were purchased from the person who hosted the private signing. So, yeah, I bought three of them and then went ahead and added three more because why not? So, there we go. And my last one here. Technically, this was not a winter purchase, but since I'm taking a break in April, I fear. Let me just go ahead and do it. Shout out to Mike McGuire, who also has been doing some signings with Jose Canseco. On the 87 with the gold cup card there. $13.99. That's shipped. So, I mean, nice variety of baseball autographs here. I mean, I mean the last one I showed you, I mean, Omar Moreno was a 79 World Series champ. Manny Sanguian was a 71-79 World Series champ. Cecil Fielder, he led the AL in home runs a couple times. I think he was in some all-star games. Jose Canseco, oh my goodness. I looked at Wikipedia was like, wow, he's got a lot of cool accomplishments. He may be signing a lot nowadays, but for $13.99 shipped, I didn't have to send anything. They just did for me. Thank you for doing all the work for me. So, yeah, there's a few cool promoters there. At least I know Matt Leibin is super, super friendly. I've worked with Guy Puglia in the past, so uh, Mike McGuire is kind of a newer one. But, yeah, hey, everybody, thank you for checking out my winter Facebook purchases. So let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I always appreciate if you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I upload a TTM video on Monday, and I upload another video on Wednesday and Saturdays. Autograph videos, trading card videos, you know, stuff like this. All right, take care, everybody.